Hello there! In this video, we're going to be installing GNU Geeks. GNU Geeks, a GNU distribution that provides an Emacs like operating system and uses GAL scheme as configuration language. Out of the box, it only comes available with free software and uses the Linux Libre kernel as the default kernel, which unfortunately does not provide support for a lot of machines nowadays, which can be like a blocking option to use Geeks for a lot of people. But as we mentioned before, it's an Emacs like operating system. You can configure it however, however you like. Now, for this video, we're going to be installing Gix using non Gix to install it using the full Linux kernel. Non Gix is a channel that provides non free software such as non free drivers and games. They also provide an ISO image, which I recommend you to use for this installation process. You can find here gitlab.com nonjigs nonjigs. Going to releases, ah, deploy releases. And download this ISO here to start the installation process. Now for downloading the ISO, just bear into USB drive and boot up on your machine. I will be using a virtual machine for this process. And let me load the ISO non -geeks. Okay. of this video we're going to be using the installer that comes automatically with non the graphical installer to generate the configuration file and then we'll go back and edit things manually. You can use the cell based process it's almost identical but it could just partition our drives for us and generate the configuration file. Since I want to keep, since I want to keep this video as a uh, new user friendly as possible I'll be using the graphical install but maybe in the future to make one about using the cell based process. Set up your time zone and the length that you want to use. I'll set a vid, I'll set a system host name. Now we're going to enable the subs to servers. Gix by default is a source, ba a source based distribution, but they provide subs to servers to install just the binaries. This will save you a lot of time. I'll set the password. Okay. User a strong complicated password. Okay. I'll just use XFC since it's a really lightweight desktop for this installation process. Let's go. Now, I recommend to use the entire disk and just use one partition. Do not separate into home partition for this installation, I don't really recommend it, since most of the uh, most of the space that Gix requires will be on the root partition. Okay. Let's continue partitioning. And since the partition is completed and you have a generated configuration file, just exit. Abort. Now what you want to do is go back to the same process code, doesn't matter what you choose, we're going to use the cell based process. Now I'll be sensing to that machine, if you want to do the same, just do shared start shd. And set up password. Okay. Let's just say it's here. Nice. And let's just install Gix. Uh, Gix. Emacs. We're using Gix cell. Gix cell uh, allows you to install a package in an isolated profile. <laughs> Now 
that's as long as Cmax. For the purpose of this video to make it usable using the default configuration, I will be using feed of vertical mode and electric pair mode. Okay, let's just split and hmm, first going to ESL and mount the, uh, your root partition that you can find here. For me, it's uh, STA3. Mount the STA3 into MNT and into MNT you can find under etc folder the configuration file that we've generated using the graphical installer if you'd like to make any sense feel free to do so but what I'm going to do now is going to install again and clone the non dix repo git clone https gitlab.com slash non gigs slash non gigs Okay, let's go into non kicks readme and go into the configuration channels they provide, copy that, go back into mnt slash etc slash channels dot stream and just copy that part. This will allow you this will allow you to install kicks using the non kicks channel which provides the non free kernel. We're just going to add right now. Copy this part of the configuration, go back into the config and just paste it. Oh, just paste it here. I'll just make it kind of prettier. Okay. Let's just add the modules for non gigs. Okay. Now we can start installing gigs. We're almost done. All you have to do is to short start cowstor. Cowstor is the copy on right and MNT. Okay. Now the command that we're going to run is dix time machine does capital C the path of our channels and double does system init MNT etc the path of our configuration file into mnt now this is going to update your system and compile the full linux kernel for you so it's going to take a while i will be back after it finishes now my installation process finished but just in case yours has any problems one thing you should try is use the linux lts the, when we use kernel linux we will try to install the latest linux kernel available but might cause any issues because it's not heavily tested linux lts will 100% work for you and another thing that you might want to try in case there is an issue with the subs to servers which i don't believe it can it usually happens use no substitutes Use this uh, flag and it will build everything from source. It won't require the subs to servers. And another thing that I've never did, but the manuals recommends you to do, the manual which you can find on gigs and manual installation and then to, when it comes to partitioning. They also recommend to mount the EFI partition. This is not something that I ever did in bad work, but just in case yours doesn't. It will usually be dev sta1, your first partition, which you should mount into mnt boot efi. Try that and in case yours fell, try those things and restart. But since I'm okay, I will just unmount and go back into the installation and reboot. Here we better log in as root. Let's wait. I 
at this round terminal emulator and let's just set the password for our root account and let us also set the password for our user okay now the thing that we also going to do now we can log out I don't set here log out okay let's log in as our user and let's just start doing our setup the first thing that you want is copy the configuration file that we used into I think it exists right now config x config that same ah. Make the config x and let us copy it now and let us also copy the channels config x channels that stream again now if you ever want to update your system run x pool and the path of the configuration channel that we created before and if you want after run dxpool, which basically runs dxpool, it's really similar run sudo dx system reconfigure and the path of, of your configuration file and it will be updating your system if you make any changes as well you should run this config if you want to install anything I recommend using dxl and the package that you want to install avoid running tix installed it's not really recommended as far as i know at least i wouldn't recommend it and the next thing if you're going to use tix is learn about dixcom i recommend checking out the manual let's just dxl emacs no x emacs let's make it larger go into dx and into home yeah home configuration and learn more about dxcom here and how you should use it to manage your configure your system maybe in the future to make a dedicated video about dxcom but i think there are already a plethora of them online that's it for this video have a nice day and enjoy your gnu system